We got doggies everywhere. Three of them are over there trying to take a nap and got several of them behind me and Buster's taking care of them now too. <laughs> Buster's even taking care, he's taking care of his own babies, just like a good daddy. That might be my favorite one there. <laughs> and uh, these three right down there are cute. They have a little mascara too. <clears throat> but it's like a little bit of brown mascara. Show me your face. <laughs> Don't get on that. Get him off there, Buster. Don't step on that because that's still wet. No, stay off of that. Come here, puppy. I like these three, or those two, and this white one here. <clears throat> but I like the black ones, like Buster. He's all pretty much all black, except he's just got little white paws, and that's the way a lot of them are. Like these two, I guess. Or... Buster's like, let's play. You big enough to play yet? <laughs> come on, let's play. Let's go. Come on now. Can you keep up with Daddy? <laughs> come on now. <laughs> Don't be so rough, Dad. Mom's like, now, don't you get too rough with my babies. <laughs> he's so excited to get to play with the babies. This is his first day he's got to play with them. <clears throat> they're coming around. They came out today, and they're just wandering all over the place. <laughs> Good grief. Staggering around like you're drunk. <laughs> this one wants to play with dad. He said, come on dad, let's, let's play. Nah, yeah, maybe I'll just go over here and see what these things are on the ground. They don't even know what those things are on the ground. They don't even know what the ground is. This is like their first experience in life and they act like they've been doing it for years. Come on dad now. There she is. Every time I try to put another coat on it to take out the cracks, they just crack again. 
So that's how it comes out with cracks. But it works as a stove. So I'm not sure how good this clay is for making bricks, but of course I didn't put any sand or straw or anything. I don't know a lot about making clay bricks, so I'm going to do some more research, but I may not use it for building a house or anything because I don't know that it's good enough clay, but I'm not sure yet. But, so, still got the old fire spot over there, moved it over there, and I can sit there, stir my beans and stuff. That thing, definitely a good little fire source with the, I just put the, the wood in the top, drop it down in there, throw a little fire starter on it or starter fluid and throw a match in there and that's what it does and it just it gets a draft through the bottom hole and just shoots right up there and all the heat goes right up to that central spot and that'll cook beans or boil a cup of coffee in a split second I mean it's it's hot so it works good kind of looks neat cracked anyway it looks like a little castle but I jaggied the edge up on the top, you know, so that I could put my coffee pot up there and it would still have air. But it doesn't really have cracks all the way through. It just looks cracked on the outside. But anyway, that's what we got. That's what we got. That's a beautiful thing. In case we ever run out of propane, we have this stove. I still use it, but most time I just use propane. It's so cheap. 20 pounds of propane for 12 bucks. Pretty good. What is that? A mm. Oh, well, that sucker just, and just a couple pieces of sticks in there. It doesn't take much firewood. These stoves are awesome. And you can make them out of mud. Even if you didn't have clay, you could just make them out of mud. It'd probably hold up pretty good for a camping trip. But yeah, it's better to make them out of good clay or, or just go buy some mortar. And you could make one that'll last forever. Oh, we need some water. <laughs> That's why Barry's sitting there waiting for some more water. She drank it all. I'll go get some more water. Don't worry. I'll get it. All right. I'm on it. Here come another chicken. All right. I just threw about three or four more sticks in there. And I think my coffee's done. It's like insane. Got some water for the chickens. It's about to boil. It takes about 60 seconds. There it goes. I, I just make it cowboy style, my coffee. All right, guys. I'm going to drink this coffee now. Hey, guys. Well, I've got another snake. This is the third one that's come into camp. And I killed it, but it's still wiggling. I've crushed his head and just about decapitated it. But I want... Barry, stay away. That's his head. Barry. No, don't get near that. Honey, that'll bite you. Well, that one ain't going to bite nobody. But anyway, I want... I know that the chickens will eat snakes and stuff, but that's probably too big for the chicken to eat. But I don't know if they kill that bigger one, but I know they do kill... Guineas kill them for sure, any kind of rattlesnake. And chickens do kill them. But they're not as good at it as the guineas, but I want them to learn. So they're, they're curious. Here comes another one. 
I want them all to, to see this rattlesnake and become rattlesnake killers. So we'll see how they react. I mean, if they're going to do anything. It was wiggling still. And the t their tail is wiggling just a little bit still. I want them to see it move. I want them to know it's a snake. And to get the courage and not and to, to realize that they are capable of killing that snake. Because they don't know it's already dead, I guess. I don't know. They're kind of curious, but I don't think they understand that that thing, if they don't kill all the snakes that they see, those snakes will come in. That's a rattler, guys. You see the rattles on that thing? But um, the snake's coming in to get the chicken eggs. Now, I wonder if some of these chickens have already dropped some eggs out here, and that's why we're getting them. But they might also be coming in for the puppies. They might think they're little mice or something. But I think the puppies are too big for them to eat. And so I'm not really too much. I'm, I'm a little worried about that because the puppies are right here in my. They were in my bed. I, I removed them from that area because I was afraid the snakes might come in looking for them. But anyway, it's been a week or two and so I killed that one. And this is the third one. So I'm still very worried about these snakes. Living right here with all these chickens and stuff. They come in to get the eggs. So I want these. Maybe this will be a way to train these chickens. To be snake killers. That's just instinct with that tail going up in the air like that. I mean, he's not even in this world no more, but he's still wiggling his tail, trying to rattle it. That's good, though. That way the chickens will think it's still alive, and they'll think they killed it. Where's my other chickens? <laughs> They're out running around. They don't even care. You ain't chicken killers? <laughs> you ain't snake killer? You're not snake killers? Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm going to leave it there for a little bit. And then I don't know what to do with it. <sighs> that thing, his head is completely severed, but he's still doing that. And it's been a while now. Barry, stay away from his head. No, Barry. No, no, that's the head. <laughs> Don't. No, stay away. That's the head, honey. I don't think he could do anything. It's severed, but I still don't want you getting near that teeth. Or, I don't know how, you know. I'm guessing. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. Okay, we got the whole crowd over here now. We got the dog and all the chickens are over here. And one of them just now got the nerve up to go over there and peck it. I want them to. I want them to get their nerve up and start learning that they're going to have to protect this ranch. When they all get together, they can take out a rattlesnake. If they don't, they're going to lose their eggs. Those, We'll have rattlesnakes all over the place coming in trying to get eggs and, and baby chickens. And uh, that's why I'm trying to get that. I haven't had time, but so many other things I've been doing, but I'm going to get started on that tonight. Get that pony wall up, and, and I'm going to have to move my bed over into there and get it up off the ground, because I'm not comfortable over here. I'm worried about these snakes coming in. It's just, it's, ew, I don't know. I, I would feel better up off the ground. Well, I'm, my bed's on the ground right now, but it's inside the camper. But I still, uh, I'm, I'm leery over here by these puppies. And I don't know. Well, they're not too interested in taking it out. <laughs> or maybe they're, oh, it's already dead. Okay. All right. Oh, we went. Someone's coming over there to look at it. They're not too brave, these chickens.
Hmm. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Once they get going, I think they'll maybe they'll eat it. They'll peck it in little pieces or something. But I want them to learn that that could be a source of food, and those things are dangerous. It's a big old worm, eat it. <laughs> Not that big of a snake though. It's kind of small. All right, maybe later. Okay, now Buster's getting in on this. You're pretty curious about this snake. The dogs are more interested in the snake than the... I don't know whether it's safe for that dog to eat that. I guess since the snake's not alive, it can't bite them, but... Where's all that poison? You know what I mean? Like, is there a poison sack in there they could get a hold of? I'm a, I'm, I'm, she's already eaten the head. She's eaten the head. I don't know what to I don't know what to do. I've already let it happen now. Oh my goodness. They're eating that snake. Well, they ain't got a head on it no more, but All right, you might as well eat the rest of it, Buster. Give it to your sisters because they need it because they're pregnant. They they eat night and day, but they're still skinny because there's a lot of puppies. She's eating the head, and that's where they bite, so I'm, I don't think it'll hurt her. I really hope it doesn't. But I've never, I don't think that once it's dead, that, that it's going to have any effect or, or hurt them or bite them, and I don't know how that works. But she's just going to town on the, the head. in that <laughs> Maggie's scared of it very not scared man I didn't know there was it sounds like bones in that snake cartilage or something huh Oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys, but this is nature. This is real nature. Maybe these dogs will learn how to kill snakes. I don't know if they're snake killers. Ooh! Yuck! Okay, I'm done. Coming down now. I was cutting the pony wall and uh, it started it started raining. Um it 
it does drip into that though. I'm gonna catch that water. Once it gets uh, puddled up up there, starts raining a little bit more and it'll just kind of pour in there. We'll be able to save some of the drinking water that way. We got three tomatoes. A couple of them are gonna get ripe here soon. And looks like a few more coming on. I'm thinking of mixing up the mortar out of the clay and there's a space underneath the pony wall I've got to fill with something so I may make some clay bricks and use that Humbuster. Who the big boy? <laughs> You're the big boy, huh? That's running water pretty good into there. So, I guess that's my first experience at catching water. Turned out there's a little out there for that water to come off the not getting it all though it's just up here I'm not getting on the on the other side you know oh. let's observe a moment of silence huh shall we Hi, Dad. <laughs> I look just like you, Dad. All right. I'm going to see if I can pop over here and look at something. Look how beautiful it is out here in the rain. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh, my goodness. Where's that big old tree? Oh, we're going to ruin the phone. We're getting wet. Ah. <sighs> Oh, buddy, she's going to storm. That last rain went by, and for an hour or two, we were uh, sunny and dry, and now here comes another big cloud. And that water that went in there, I mixed up and actually put sand in it like you're supposed to, because... And that bucket that where the water was running in, um, I mixed some sand, about 60, 40 clay and sand. And I added that on that to cover those cracks. And I'm going to see if maybe that will stop it from cracking because I never put any sand in it. And some people put only... 20% sand, some people put 30, and I think I put about 40, but I just did the outer coat, but I just didn't want it to, it makes it pli more pliable, and I think it makes it, stops it from leaking or absorbing more water, I don't know, anyway, did that, well, I want to see how this storm, how, uh, oh, here it comes, a little windy, I hope it doesn't blow my camp up blow it over or something, you know? It's kind of starting to rain now. I didn't really want it to rain. I didn't think it was going to again because I just did that. I'm still wet, but...
I saw some lightning over here just before I turned the camera on. Bam! I mean, it was real close. The other night, it shook the whole... I mean, it was loud. Bang! <laughs> that gets you out of your seat. Oh, I love these thunderstorms. This is better than 4th of July. <laughs> Well, these rains are right on time, though. Could have been a little earlier for me. Get me wet.
Well, if I'd have had a tarp the size of this camp, or this, this tent, all funneling into a, a, a clean bucket, I'd have a bunch of water. It rains like that for an hour and I could fill up one of those tanks. Half an hour. Because this is just part of this roof. A very small, like 10% of the roof. The rest of it's rolling off on other, all sides. If I had to get out now, I wouldn't be able to get out. The roads get real muddy. You gotta wait two hours after it rains. So we're not leaving here tonight. Which we wouldn't be anyway. Oh. This will be good opportunity so I can find out when it floods like this where the water puddles up. Oh man, it puddles up right there in front of the... Well, you know, just while it's raining. I mean, it's so much rain, it's puddling up on the hill. Right? It's just soaked right in though. We sprung a leak right there for a second. Well, that's getting really wet, isn't it? Uh, I guess it'll be all right. It'll dry out. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to get out of the road now. Sink up your axles. This is the first time it's rained this hard, this long. Just like about an hour maybe. Come close one.
look at the sunset tonight. <laughs> no, that's glorious. What? 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 Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh <laughs> I'm telling you. That's pretty. I'm gonna have to turn the pink over there. All the way over there. Now you can see those trees clear over the other side of the canyon, real good. Huh? Boy. How many times have we seen this? And I, I'm still not tired of it. <laughs> I, I can't get enough of this. This is just the most beautiful thing. Buster, you're molting. Well, your wool's coming off for the summer. Go jump. You can't jump. What are you doing? Wow. 
Is the moon out yet? Not yet, huh? Pretty that way too. <laughs> All right, guys. Just gonna go ahead and say good night. Have a good one. Lord bless you. All right. Well, the sun's down now, but. Look at this, this is um, sunsets in the west. But over in the east, we have another set, or a rise. At first it confused me, I thought, why is the moon, or the sun, setting on the other side now? But that's the moon, it's the moon rise. You ever seen a moon rise before? Like a sunrise or a sunset, this is a moon rise. Isn't that neat? It's just like beautiful orange. It's dark out. This is where the sun went down over here. And on the opposite side, there's a moon. And it's pretty. It looks like the sun, doesn't it? Going down, but it's the moon coming up. That really does look, right there, that looks like a sunset for sure, but it's not. Wow. It doesn't quite look like that in real life either. It's more, it's more, um, I mean, it's more like a sunset in the camera. In real life, more it's more like a moon you can really see the moon for sure like more like that that's what it looks like in more like in real life but I'm zooming in a little bit there there it is right there oh it's so pretty it's like it lights up the whole hill over there Well, I just thought to show you guys. So neat.